Welcome to your weekly news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is a reckless drone pilot that pleaded guilty. Um, maybe potentially an Air 3 official event coming up next week. And then a new FAA guidance about federal preemption. That's a really good thing. And then lastly, a malfunction that caused 500 drones to fall from the sky. Not a good thing. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is a drone operator in California who admitted to recklessly flying a drone near aircraft multiple times. Uh, the three incidents occurred between June of 2022 and March of 2023, so this is pretty fresh. The first incidents involved, uh, his name is Alexander Milinovich, and he did that in June 2022. He decided to fly his drone and uh, within 10 to 20 feet of a gyrocopter, resulting in the pilot making an emergency course change to prevent a collision. The second incident occurred in July, and just a month later, uh, flying in excess of 500 feet, and then, in addition, he came close enough to a nearby blimp uh, to result in the pilot making an emergency landing, as was described by the Department of Justice as life-threatening. Lastly, uh, the third incident involved a Coast Guard rescue helicopter operating between 200 and 300 feet near uh, Laguna Beach. Uh, Milanovic decided that he was going to fly his drone directly at the helicopter, uh, resulting in the helicopter maneuvering to avoid the drone and then fearing that it may hit the propeller. Now, all of these incidents were posted on social media, that's right, uh, resulting in law enforcement notification. Now, the investigation involves the Joint Terrorism uh, Task Force, the FAA, the Coast Guards, and then Orange County Sheriff Department. Uh, he faces, uh, at a minimum, one year in federal prison for each of these counts. So please, please, please don't be that guy. All right, your next story is an exciting one. DJI puts out a teaser this week about a drone to be released uh, next week. Well, it looks like it's a drone. It's uh, two different windows, it looks like. They call it Double Up. Uh, we know that uh, the Air 3 was rumored to have a dual camera setup, a brand new transmitter, and a bunch of other things. Uh, it looks like this will go down on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, so stay tuned. I'm sure DJI will have an event. Now, there's been a lot of rumors and leaks in the last couple of weeks, showing pretty much everything about the upcoming drone, uh, just like it uh, seems to be happening a lot with DJI drones that are right around the corner. So uh, we'll see if those rumors can, uh, are true, and uh, we'll see if the last date that we predicted definitely wasn't. All right, your third story this week is a new FA guidance about federal preemption. What the heck does that mean? Well, this is a new and updated fact sheet that discusses what is and what isn't preempted by uh, the federal laws and the FAA in terms of drone regulation. Now, think about this. Municipalities, states always try to prevent drones from doing certain things. And the FAA from time to time says, eh, can't do that because this is our job. Uh, overall, the document I think is really good. Uh, it was very much needed. I think the last one that we had was updated in 2015 maybe. So things have changed quite a bit since. But there's one area that I think can cause confusion, unfortunately, which is the FAA mentions that there is an expectation of privacy around parks and schools, which is actually not the case. But overall, everything else in there, I think is a great uh, base in case you are uh, advocating or you work with local and state officials this document will likely be a great use to you, uh, detailing how preemption actually works, what can be preempted, what cannot be preempted, and it also talks about a bunch of different examples. So we're glad to see that the FA has updated the document. I know it comes, um, well, it, it comes across our office from time to time. We have um, cities that are trying to just uh, prevent drones from flying or schools that are saying, you can't fly over our school. Uh, this is just not the case. So uh, if you know of any drone laws, that uh, could be preempted under these guidelines, make sure you send us an email. Uh, we're happy to reach out to the municipalities or to the different cities. I mean, we work quite a bit with the Drone Service Provider Alliance uh, to get all of these rules changed, removed, or whatever it is. So uh, yeah, send us your email. And for your final story this week, a malfunction in the drone show's programming resulted in all the drones falling into a nearby river. Uh, this happened in Australia, resulting in 500 drones attempting to auto land in the river. That is not good. Uh, as you can guess, this meant that somebody's got to do a lot of uh, drone fishing, uh, including apparently using divers in order to do this. Uh, the drones were doing what they were programmed to do. That's the sad part. Uh, no one was injured by the drones landing in the water. There was an investigation underway into the uh, cause of the glitch, but at this time, uh, we're glad that uh, no one was hurt.
All right, last thing, we will be at EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh next week. Make sure you come and see us. We'll have that big booth right by the entrance on the right side at booth uh, 90. And uh, come say hi, come get some uh, swag, and uh, come uh, take some pictures. All right, that's it. We'll see you next week. Let's try to finish eating my nuts. Now I'm going to choke halfway through. You know it. All right, watch it. All right, you first...